Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Long War 2. So, we're in the middle of the HQ assault mission still. I actually had to take a few hours break for real life reasons. So this is after a few hours basically. I think we are close to done, but I'm not actually sure how many enemies we got left. I suppose we'll find out. Now, can we do anything about that sectoid? I don't think so, we'll have to wait one more turn. Which shouldn't be a big problem, I don't think so. 41%. It's not terrible. He's probably going to use some sonic power. I think it's fine to just shoot him. Even if we miss, that is okay. Not a big deal. Yes, target's still up. I noticed. Thanks for that valuable insight. 40%. Even a graze would be nice. No? Alright, never mind. That's basically it. We can overwatch. And that's about it. Okay, fine. Oh, he will run away? No? Yeah, he's going to use... Oh, reanimate. No problem. I thought he might try mind control or something like that. But no. Let's have a look. Do we have line of sight with Christian? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Only to the zombie, unfortunately. Alright, we definitely have to move Christian somewhere else. Because not only he will be too far away from any other enemies, he won't have line of sight because of this guard tower. First, let's take care of the sectoid. Let's have a look. He does have full cover, which is annoying. Can we just melee him? We can, but it's a little bit risky because we are definitely not done with this mission. So I wouldn't want to trigger a group after dashing all the way. That's just a terrible, terrible idea. We are not going to do that. Let's just take a few shots. That's the best we can do. Surely not everyone will miss, right? Famous last words. And we can kill the zombie with Christian. Because Christian cannot shoot anything else anyway. So he might as well shoot the zombie. There. Just in case we miss the sectoid with everyone. We do have cyclic fire. Are we close enough to use it? It's probably going to be low chance to hit. Oh no, we are not close enough. Yeah, Freddy isn't even remotely close enough to the sectoid. And I'm not sure if he can be. I don't really want to stand completely in the open. Because that's usually not a good idea, let's just say. Nope, missed again. Yeah, I'm sure you will. What if there's no next time? What will you do then? Alright then. Moving to position. Well, let's move a little bit closer. If he mind controls someone, I do have a flashbang grenade. So I'm not too worried about that. I just don't want to trigger a group right now. We need to move Christian a little bit closer before we trigger another major group. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I was thinking about moving him to the guard tower. But that might still be a little bit too far away. Oh, now he's on overwatch. Okay. We can get line of sight with Christian and set up with steady weapon. And then try to kill him on the next turn. So steady weapon. And we'll still take a few shots. We could use flash to make him move. But chances are, he will just move into different full cover. That's probably what's going to happen. Let's find out. Yeah, now it's even worse. Kind of. I'm ready. Yeah, it's actually worse now. <laughs> Alright. Wait, he's still on Overwatch, even though he moved. Now that's just not fair. Yeah, that's a little bit silly. He's not supposed to be on Overwatch. We got Shadow Step, so we can move. I don't even have line of sight to him anymore. Alright, I guess we'll just spam Overwatch. Because he doesn't have line of sight to us either. Only to Spacebar. Let's move completely out of the way. 
Hopefully that will force him to move. And we'll get a few reaction shots. I could obviously kill him much easier than this, but I'm simply being careful. This is definitely not the last enemy in the mission. Come on, kill him. Really? You still missed from that close? Now he's dead. Good job. Actually, I lied. That was not a very good job, to be honest. Alright, time to reload everything and reposition slightly. We need to move Christian. So question is, do we want to leave him here to get a little bit of high ground or just move closer? I'm pretty sure the next group will be like on the other side of the map. So this is just too far away. We need to move Christian. That's what we'll do. Alright, reloads. Do we have any more autoloaders? I'm guessing no. I'm pretty sure we don't. Oh, we actually do have one more on Jory. Alright. Works for me. So Overwatch, we still have command. That is definitely going to come in handy. Alright, Overwatch. There's still going to be at least one really big pod. I'm like 99% sure. Because we did not kill the general. And the general can have a crap ton of health. And a lot of advent with him. Christian still needs a reload. Right, we are doing quite well in this mission, so let's not do anything silly. I'm not going to rush this. There's no need to rush this. Especially when we're doing so well. We did take some damage, but we killed so many enemies that I would say we are doing really, really well. This mission was going to be really tough. Especially with only six soldiers. Uh, I mean, eight soldiers. Obviously. And against swarming activity, which is 33 plus. Alright, let's be careful here. I don't think there are any patrols on yellow alert because they would have found us by now. I think that much is obvious. Having said that, there might be a regular patrol somewhere in the back of the base. I'm not even sure how close we are to the back of the base. Because this map is huge. Where's the zone wall? Yeah, it's not even close. This map is just massive. Alright. I mean, that is not a bad thing, because if the map was small, then you would end up fighting 20 enemies all at the same time. You don't want that. <laughs> Definitely not. It's hard enough as is. We'll just progress slowly. It would be nice to set up in the guard tower without triggering anything. That's what I'm hoping for. Where's Christian exactly? That's Jory right here. Move him into cover or something. Where's Christian? Right here. Oh yeah, in the front. Kind of. Okay. Let's have a look. Looks safe, still. Yep, nowhere close to the zone wall. Even when I zoom out all the way, there's like a whole screen left. If not two. Okay. Fine by me. Let's keep moving. Yes, I'm sure we can handle that. Here, handle this. I'm sure it's not too complicated for you. Alright, looks fine still. We'll just slowly keep moving up and overwatching. Now, let's set up on the high ground, shall we? Christian needs to be up here for sure. Like so. Still nothing, that's good. And I guess that's going to be just Christian. We can move one more person, like James, but he won't be staying there very long. He will only stay up there if we find a group somewhere nearby. Which we might or might not. Still 
still nothing. I'm sure we'll find them soon enough. Let's do this. All right. Well, we got one more guard tower. I'm on it. I wouldn't mind using that one either. Interesting. So steady weapon for you. And it looks like James won't be staying up here very long. Sorry, James. Maybe next time. No high ground for you. Alright, Overwatch. I will probably save command for the pod with the general. Because I have a feeling we'll need it. I'm pretty sure he's going to have more health than the last one we fought. I know he can sometimes have a lot of health. Right, let's just keep moving slowly and carefully. Still nothing. They might be inside the building. That's probably what's going to happen. But I'm pretty sure there's more than just the general left with his friends. Alright, Overwatch. Not even a notification that they are nearby. Is there a building over here? Well, we are slowly getting close to the end of the zone. We are actually pretty damn close to the end of the zone. And I guess we have to move Christian to the other watchtower. That's what we'll do. You'll have to wait around a little bit longer. How about you stop complaining about that? I'm sure waiting around is slightly better than getting shot in the face. You know, I'm just saying. Unless you want to trade. I can arrange that. Didn't think so. So, Christian up here, and we'll wait one more turn before moving. Because I want to have steady weapon up. For obvious reasons. Alright, steady weapon then. And let's move up a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Okay, is that the main pod? No, it's not. I think the main pod is usually inside the building or something like that. Oh, we found our sentinel. The one who ran away. All right. Let's have a look. Where's James? Right here. So I'll take down the drone. We got two drones. Let's not get stunned. And they got some loot. We like loot, don't we? Yes, we do. Not bad. Let's kill it. There's not a whole lot of full cover around here. What about Freddy? Where is he? Right here. I was thinking about Hail of Bullets. But he might be a little bit too far away, actually. Yeah, he's a little bit too far away to reach the Sentinel. Alright. We'll just have to stay back here. You know what we could do? We could actually take over the drone, which is not a terrible idea. Let's take it. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's just do that. It will be a distraction for the Sentinels. It's just two enemies, but it's always useful to give them a different target to shoot. I'm more than okay with that. Even if they end up killing the drone. Here, we got the drone. It's nice to have 100%. That's mostly thanks to red screen round on James. So there's the drone, it's ours now. If one of them misses, they might not be able to kill it. Oh, we found the pod. It didn't trigger though. Still no general in there. Okay. Advent first sergeant. Yeah, the general is going to be inside this building. He's going to be like right here. 
I actually think this building is always the same. If the general is always inside. This is just the second HQ assault that I'm doing. But it looks like that building is always the same. In any case, let's reposition slightly. I guess we should actually use this high ground now. But not with spacebar. Jory can go up here for now. And we'll use Overwatch. Alright, this should be fun. Overwatch, Overwatch. And maybe hunker down, actually. Alright, hunker down. So let's see what's going to happen now. The drone will probably die. So here comes the pod. Oh, there's the general. And yes, he's ugly. So are these all the remaining enemies? Might be. It's a shame we don't have a rocket. That would be so nice right about now. So yeah, the drone will definitely go down. Unless the second sentinel misses. No, these guys will also take shots. Rip. Hey, it was a nice distraction. So I think we need to lure them towards us a little bit. And I don't think I'll be picking up the load. I could grab the load and then move out. I'm not entirely convinced that it's actually worth it. Let's check what we can do with Christian. 77% on the engineer. Let's shoot the engineer. These guys have flashbang grenades. They are pretty annoying. Nope. I kind of wanted a kill over there, but alright. Lutherion. 2% really? High cover, tactical sense, defense. Okay, buddy. So I'm thinking we should back up with Remy first. Can we grab that load and move into a reasonably safe position? I guess we can. Alright, I hope this load is worth it. Advanced agility. I would say it's worth it. Okay, and now we'll move into full cover. Away from these guys. I would like to kill at least one of them on this turn. But... That seems a little bit unlikely. 49% of the Sentinel, even though we are flanking him. That's tactical sense for you, combined with fairly low aim. Because our aim is certainly not amazing on most of these soldiers, considering they are all pretty high rank. Right, we need 8 more damage. And we can't really do it, unless I move into partial cover and then take a shot. That is a terrible idea, considering this is like, what, 8 enemies? 9 enemies? I wasn't really counting. James obviously won't do it. Heading out. What's our chance to hit with walk fire? 35%. I'll take that shot. Mostly to continue doing damage. On the margins. We do have combat protocol, but I would have to do 2 more damage with someone. And that seems unlikely. Maybe Jory can do it. Yeah, if he grazes. It's not like he has anything better to do. So yeah, sure. We'll take that. Oh, what? He actually hit him, okay. With 15% chance to hit. Good job, I wasn't counting on that at all. And now the best we can do is Overwatch. Might want to move Spacebar a little bit closer because she will be useless this far away with a shotgun. We could move into full cover right here. Not sure if I want to. Yeah, that seems a little bit dangerous for my taste right about now. Let's move to the left instead. Spread out a little bit. It should allow us to flank them a little bit easier. Or it will force them to spread out because they won't have enough cover to stay not flanked. Alright, Overwatch and Freddy. There's no good full cover I can move him to. 
This is about as good as it's going to get. Alright, moment of truth. Because this is a lot of dudes that we'll have to kill. Holy crap. Oh yeah, and here comes the mech archer. That mech archer needs to die. Like, now. He's the number one priority target. Before he used that, that rocket launcher of his. How much health is that? 32 health on the general, alright. And what's his aim? The camera is moving too quickly. 110 aim, holy crap. Yeah, that's a lot of aim. Okay, this is going to be interesting. If we could take over the mech, that would be amazing. But I don't think we will. Yeah, this is a lot of guys. I don't know about this. This is actually going to be really tough. And I can't really prioritize the general. We have to kill his friends first. Yeah, I don't know about this. This is actually going to be really tough. We have to kill the mech archer. Christian doesn't even have line of sight to the mech. That's great. Well then... We'll have to stay in full cover, but even with full cover, they might be able to keep doing damage to us regardless. So what do we want to shoot with Christian? What can he shoot? The trooper? The engineer? Elite trooper in the back? First sergeant? I don't know what first sergeant does. Sentinel on the far left. Our highest chance to hit is on the trooper in the back, but the trooper is the least dangerous enemy. I think we should kill the engineer, because he has flashbang grenades. If he uses a flashbang grenade and disorients one third of our squad, we are going to be in trouble. Now, I don't think I want to waste rapid targeting. It has a four turn cooldown, and we are probably going to need it against the general. We'll just take a shot at the engineer. There, he's dead. Nice. We needed that kill too. However, we are not even remotely close to done. That aim, man. It's not even the 32 health, 3 armor and 5 ablative health. It's the aim. 110 aim with 9 maximum damage without a crit. That's bad news. Really, really bad news. Alright, so that mech really needs to go. Let's get started. If we get really lucky, we might be able to stun it with the bolt caster. I'm not really counting on that happening, but it's a good reason to take the first shot with the bolt caster, in case it actually happens. It's a decent chance to happen, it's not like 1%. It didn't work or did it? No, it actually did. No, it didn't. Shield removed. I thought that was stunned message. Hey, that's okay. Let's have a look. Out of all these enemies, the mech needs to die. Otherwise, he might use the rocket launcher and ruin our day. We still got the frost bomb. And if we want to use it at some point, we need to start moving a little bit closer. James, 85%. Okay, he has two shots. Let's go for it. Pretty good. It's down to one health. I wish there was more full cover around here, but sadly there isn't. We need to move a little bit closer. We got shadow step, so that's safe. Then... Remy. I'd like to get closer, but... I don't know. We can take a shot at the mech with Remy. All we need is literally one damage. Okay, nice. So now we can move James 
into full cover and move Jory where James is. Because that's the only good position Jory can use. I want Jory to be closer to have an option to use the Frostbone. Because right now we don't have that option. Wait, I can't move into this tile. I thought I will be able to. Okay, but we can move Buzz into that tile. Will that trigger any reaction shots? It might. I don't think it will. It shouldn't. If we move like this, then it shouldn't. But these indicators have been wrong before. Now it's fine. Okay, so now... Jory. We can still take one more shot with James, but that's only 8%, there's no point. Move James and then we'll move Jory. He needs to be closer for the grenade. We also have the flashbang grenade. And we might need it right about now. We can disorient four enemies. Advanced Trooper, Elite Trooper, Advanced Trooper and Advent First Sergeant. I can't quite reach the General with it, but I guess I'll live with that. So let's do it. It won't get much better than this. And I'm pretty sure this is the last pod in the mission now. Even if it's not, this is definitely going to be the hardest engagement. So we need to use all the tools that we have at our disposal. Let's use the flashbang. We need to somehow neutralize some of them while we kill the others, or while we kill at least a few. If we let all of them take shots at us with their full aim, they will eventually kill someone. It's just maths. So I would prefer to not have that happen. How many enemies can we see? We can see six enemies. The Sentinel is not disoriented and the General also isn't. Also, we have to keep everyone in full cover. If we leave full cover, that person is probably going to die. If only because the General has 110 base aim. Now, if only I had a chance to use the flamethrower, but we are slightly too far away. I wish this had slightly better range than this, but sadly it doesn't. We do have command, but I'm saving it for now. Do we take a shot? 49% on the trooper. We might as well take that shot. What else are we going to do? Yeah, there we go, we hit him. I will not be able to remove that shield, as in... I can't kill the enemy that used the shield first. I'm not even sure which one that was. Was that the general? I don't know. No, I think there was like a shield bearer or something. But in any case, we can't really get rid of the shield other than burn through it. So now Freddy has the same problem. He needs to be in full cover. Let's move him to the high ground and use Overwatch in case some of these guys try to rush us. We could even take a shot at the first sergeant. I think we should actually. Huh. Chain shot is almost tempting. It's a bit of a gamble with a low chance to hit. However, we do have a grazing fire and a graze will trigger another shot from the chain shot. But I think what's going to be better is actually using holo targeting on the first sergeant, for example, and then using chain shot. I will still take the shot, though. Even if we graze him, that is useful. There. We did 10 damage. Nice. That's actually way more than I expected. And that leaves us with spacebar. I could disorient the sentinel, but not the general. Let's keep that flashbang then. And no point using overwatch with the shotgun. We'll just hunker down, I suppose. So fingers crossed, we need them to not kill anyone, basically. Here comes the general. Oh yeah, great. He can also mark us. Because, you know, 110 aim is clearly not enough. Yeah, okay, that guy is just bad news overall. 
I didn't catch chance to hit over there, but it was extremely high. Here comes the shield bearer. That answers my earlier question. I might have to move Bass out of the way because he's already down to 9 health. And you know, he's the officer. Every soldier in this mission is valuable, but Bass is one of our officers. And it took a while to train him. I might have to hunker down with him or something like that. Anyway, what do we do now? Let's check Christian again. That is a lot of targets. We could try to kill the shield bearer. Hold on, can Freddy reach the shield bearer? Yes, he actually can. So we could mark the shield bearer and then use cyclic fire. And that will get rid of the shields. There aren't that many left, but that will save us, what, like 15, 17 damage? Yeah. Alright, first rapid targeting. We don't actually need Christian to take a shot, we just need rapid targeting. The armor will make this slightly annoying, so chances are we'll need more than just cyclic fire. However, Freddy has the shredder ammunition, as in not as a perk, but as an actual item in his inventory. So let's have a look. Here, we can see it, Shredder rounds. That's not from the perk, that's from the item. Wait. I thought he can get line of sight to the trooper. I in shield bearer. Oh damn it, I messed up. Okay, my bad. I will still take a shot. We can still use chain shot. We just need to move. Okay, Jory has line of sight. We could move Jory somewhere and then move Freddy to where Jory is and then use chain shot. How many of them are on Overwatch? Just the Sentinel from the looks of it. I think it's fine to move, so move James. Then we'll move Jory, like so. And then we'll move Freddy to where Jory was. And then we'll use Chain Shot. Can't use Cyclic Fire anymore because you need to not move. Alright, let's go for it. The chance to hit is not amazing. But even if we graze, that will still trigger the next shot. There we go, 5 damage, one more. Could have been better, but at least we shredded it a little bit. Christian. 68% chance to hit. Come on, Christian. Nice. Well, only for damage. Nine more. We obviously won't kill him on this turn. That much is clear. This is going to be rough. Bass almost certainly needs to either run away or hunker down. He can't really move safely because the sentinel is overwatching him. So he needs to hunker down, I'm not going to risk having him killed. Hunker down. I am almost tempted to use melee, but that's obviously a terrible, terrible idea with so many enemies in there. I just hope some of them will decide to move towards us and triggered some reaction shots. We can still take a shot at the shield bearer. Let's just go for it. Nope. You tried. And that's basically it. Yeah, I'm going to hunker down with anyone who's too close to the general. We need the general to move towards us too. He's too far away. Even once we get to the point of trying to kill him, we need him to move closer, he's just way too far away right now. Well, this will be interesting, for sure. This makes me a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, 
he still hit us. Well, grazed. But that will do damage, obviously. I think I'll have to run completely out of range. Because we were hunkering down behind full cover. And he still did damage with his insane aim. They are clearly focusing on one person. Yep, we have to run out of range completely. I don't know if we can do it. At least we did some damage there. But this is still so many enemies that we'll have to kill. And we'll just continue to take damage from grazes. I need to be way more aggressive, but... I can't just rush in with melee because we'll die if we do that. We might be able to hit the sentinel. But then... Well, actually, hold on. This might actually be a relatively safe move to melee the sentinel. Perhaps a slightly crazy move. But if we don't take some sort of risk, this is simply not going to happen. It's really as simple as that. We need to take a risk, otherwise we'll end up either failing or aborting or squad wiping or anything else. So let's just melee that guy. At least it will break overwatch. Here, 8 damage. We almost managed to kill him. Oh, and there's a turret. Because, you know, clearly, we weren't engaging nearly enough enemies. We had to add a turret on top of that. That's reasonable. Alright, we do have cyclic fire, but our chance to hit is not super impressive. Probably not worth using it that right now. We still got some flashbang grenades. And Buzz needs to get the heck out of here. Yeah, if he takes much more damage, he's just going to die. And the general is on overwatch, we won't trigger it. Okay, let's just run out of the range completely. Back here. That seems fine. Before we do that, we'll use our other guys. Can we melee someone with Remy? I am almost considering meleeing this guy. That's not such a great idea anymore, because we would have to go where Spacebar is. But it would be a kill. If we could kill the first sergeant, maybe disorient the other guys. This might be almost a reasonable move. Almost. Ninety-seven percent on the shield bearer. Oh yeah, we are flanking him. Forty-six percent chance to crit. We would have to either do maximum possible non-crit damage or crit him. And if this fails, he's probably going to be out of range. We only got two enemies left with the shield. It's still our best shot. Well, this is clearly the most reasonable thing to do. Take a 97% chance shot. That guy is still dangerous without the shield. They are all dangerous. Let's go for it. We need a crit. That's nice. We got him. But forgive me if I'm not too excited because we are not nearly safe yet. <laughs> I wish Flash did some granted damage in Long War 2, but sadly it doesn't. Most of the time... It does zero. So we could disorient... Oh, we can't disorient all three of these guys. But we could disorient the first sergeant and the trooper. Okay, that's a thing that can happen. Lotharion needs a reload. 32%. Alright, don't do that yet. It's a shame the trooper has 5 health instead of 4, because then we could consider combat protocol. What about Jory? What's his chance to hit? 30%. I mean, the trooper is the least dangerous enemy out here, but we do have to kill all of them. Wait, can we use combat protocol to kill that sentinel? Yes, we can. I guess we'll do that. 
It feels like a bit of a waste, but we should still kill that guy. And this is the best way to achieve that. Do we want to break that overwatch on the general? There's no point. I don't plan to trigger it. Okay, let's kill the sentinel. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Now, we're not exactly safe behind that tree. But I don't regret that move. We needed to do something. Now. How many flashbang grenades do we have? At least two. We got a frost bomb. We got flashbang on Freddy. And we got flashbang on James. We will need to use all these flashbangs. I can tell you as much. I want to kill at least one more enemy on this turn, if we can. We can certainly try. Yep, 8%. Walk fire, 37. I think I'll take that shot. There we go, we actually hit him! For 5 damage too. We might be able to kill him. We only need 2 more. Bass cannot take a shot, he needs to get the heck out of here. Alright, I also want to be as far away from that general as humanly possible. Especially with people who are already wounded. The problem with Jory is that on one hand, he needs to be close to be able to use the frost bomb, but I want to be far enough to not get him marked as the new primary target. So for now, I think we should back up slightly. Yeah, let's back up slightly. And we can still take a shot from over here. It's not a very high chance to hit, but we got 18% chance to do some grazing damage. It's not totally terrible. Definitely not outside of realms of possibility. We did not hit him, but... We could have. Now, we do have Freddy, and yes, he has grazing fire, and yes, he has the highest chance out of anyone here to kill the sergeant. However, I was hoping to kill the sergeant and then use suppression on one of these guys, or even hail of bullets to kill the trooper. Clearly, that did not happen. We can still take a shot with Remy. Okay, let's do that. Move away from the general. Still only 16%. High cover, tactical sense, defense, yeah. We didn't hit him. Oh well. You tried. And that's pretty much it, I think. So what do we do? I could take a regular shot with Freddy and hope that we'll get a graze. I could throw a flashbang grenade. I could suppress. It's a tough choice. Freddy does have low profile, so he could move somewhere, but there's not much point to move. I suppose we can move further away from these guys and then take a shot. But out of all our soldiers here, Freddy has like the most health left. He has 15 and one armor. I'm pretty sure he has the most health left out of any soldier here. In any case, we will move Bass because that's what I was going to do anyway. And he just needs to be out of range. Now we just need to decide what the heck to do with Freddy. I'm tempted to take that shot. If I knew whether it's going to be a kill or not, then it would be easier to decide, but, you know, that's always the case. So, let's throw a flashbang grenade. Because if we miss, we'll have nothing to show for that shot. That doesn't mean the first sergeant won't hit someone, but at least he won't have 90 aim anymore and we can just kill him on the next turn. We are doing okay at this point, but that general is still going to be a major problem. All right. They're all over me! We'll have to move Lotharion, because right now he has full cover, but if they move anymore in this direction, he will only have partial cover. If they move beyond this point to the right, he'll only have partial cover. Oh yeah, the turrets actually have 
squad site, which is really, really annoying. I like how the general doesn't even care about covert. <laughs> I probably wouldn't if I was him. Shame he's not in range for cyclic fire, because this would be the best case scenario, use cyclic fire on the general. I'm hoping we'll be able to do that. And I think we need to keep moving away slightly. That seems to be the best option here. Yep, let's move away slightly and we'll try to kill the trooper perhaps. I don't want to use Hail of Bullets yet. I'm saving that for the general. I'm saving as many tools as possible for the general basically. In case that wasn't obvious. So what else can we do here? I just want to move away. Especially with people like Lutherion. He only has 7 health left. That's just way too low. He still has the smoke grenade. But I'd rather just move away. And we'll take a shot. Or we can use combat protocol. You know what, let's use combat protocol to kill the first sergeant. RIP. So now we just got the two troopers left, the turret and the elite trooper. So three troopers, but two of them are advanced, not elite. And obviously the general. So Christian, I don't like how Christian only has seven health. I guess we should take a shot at the general. I don't like how he might be in range to attack Christian on his next turn. I don't like that at all. I hope he will find a different target. But this is just way too tempting and we got 41% chance to crit. Yeah, we really need this shot. We have to start doing damage to that guy because that's 32 friggin health. Nice. Well, only free damage, but I'll take any damage at this point. As for Freddy, technically I could kill the trooper with Hail of Bullets, but as I already said, I'm saving Hail of Bullets for the general. How much ammunition do we need for static fire again? That's five, right? Oh yeah, it's on cooldown. Right, well, let's shoot the trooper. No, it's not on cooldown. Never mind, too late. We actually missed that guy. Alright. Probably too early for command. But maybe we should just use it. We'll also need to be close enough to use Frost Bomb on the general at some point, because that's the plan. In case that wasn't obvious enough. Right, well, I could command Freddy. Not convinced that's not a waste, but you know what? Let's command Freddy here. And I will actually use that to reload because I want to have enough ammunition for cyclic fire on the next turn. In case we get a chance to use that on the general. So that's what we'll do. And James, probably Overwatch. I assume the general will move towards us, but now I need to move away from the general. Yep. Sorry bro, I don't like your party. We are so close to Dan, and yet so far away because of the general. Sneaky bastard, he moved where spacebar was. Yeah. You know the most annoying part about all of this? That stupid turret on the roof with squad side. It will keep taking shots at us. And it actually has pretty decent aim too. Yeah. It's really annoying. <laughs> I hate these turrets. They aren't the most dangerous enemies out there, but I can't do anything about the turret. And it wouldn't make any sense to prioritize it anyway, but it will still keep taking shots from way out of range. I would have to break line of sight completely. 
go behind some building. Anyway, one health on the trooper. I don't know if I want to keep Christian up here. It just seems a bit dangerous, I don't know. I can't afford to let him die. He's our highest aim sniper. He's our highest aim soldier, period. No one else has aim nearly as high as he does. And he's only a sergeant too. 45%. Well, we have to kill some of these guys. I can't just leave them there. Walk fire now. I was hoping to get a graze with that shot. Wait, let's not do that yet. Maybe we should just use melee? Can we get cover from the general if we use melee? No, that guy on the other side. No, there's no good target for melee. Where's spacebar? Oh yeah, right here. And Remy? Technically, I could totally melee the general. <laughs> if there were no enemies left, I would have considered that. But I don't think that's a very smart idea. Maybe we should flashbang him. I'm thinking maybe we should. 35%. Well, let's take that shot. Come on, we just need a graze. There we go. We actually hit. Not that we needed it. We got a trooper and we got one more trooper. Can we kill this guy right here somehow? I don't care how, I just want to get rid of him. I would also not have the turret shoot Lotharion. But I would have to dash in order to achieve that right now. I guess we'll just stay in full cover, take a shot at this guy. It's not a very high chance to hit. I'm on it. But it's a chance to hit. I guess we'll take it. Nope. Damn it. Christian, 53%. I don't think the general is close enough to attack Christian on the next turn, so let's take a shot at the trooper. We can move on the next turn because we'll have to reload. So that seems reasonable. Please just kill the trooper. There we go, good job. You hit when it really mattered. Alright. So there's one more elite trooper in the back, but he's too far away. And then we obviously got the general. Okay. So this is the hard part. Although it's hard to say. I guess killing his buddies while he was taking shots at us was also the hard part. We need him to move into a better position. We will not kill him while he has full cover, that much is obvious. I'll just have to move away and force him to move towards us. That's what will have to happen. Or if he stays back there, we could just continue taking shots with Christian. But even if we hunker down behind full cover, he will still have decent chance to hit us. Nice. Good job, Freddy. That was actually a really important hit right there. There's the turret. 46% chance to hit us. These turrets actually have pretty good chance to hit. I don't like it. Okay, so Christian needs to move on this turn. I don't know where exactly I'm going to move him. We could move him to the other guard tower. And perhaps the turret will not have line of sight to him, because the first guard tower will block it. That sounds like a promising plan right there. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Ready to go. Now, we obviously still have to kill the general, that's the hard part. And the trooper. I guess we could kill the trooper with halo bullets. It will be a kill. I don't really want to. Wait, was that 0%? Oh, he has defense and cyclic fire. Right, I mean, defense and tactical sense. Let's take a shot at the trooper. There we go, nice. So it's just the general and the stupid turret left. The problem with the turret is that if I melee the general, the turret will get flanking shots at us. 
which is obviously not what I want. Not even remotely close. Locked and loaded. Covering. Hunker down and move away with bus. <laughs> we can't stay here. Yep, so move the heck away. Actually, hold on. I hope the turret won't have line of sight to him. I need to make sure he's completely out of line of sight. I cannot afford to lose him. Let's disarm the general, shall we? Light him up. I'll have to use that grenade at some point. Might as well use it now. I still don't really want to move too aggressively because he still has 85 aim. So I don't know. We still have one flashbang on James, however. Let's just try to do a little bit of damage. Yes, it's just one damage, but at least we did something. Alright. Freddy will have to hit him to shred that armor. That's what will have to happen. And once we shred his armor, then we can do some actual decent damage. Yep, he's not going to move. I need to force him into a more exposed position. We will not kill him while he has full cover. That's simply not going to happen. We'll just keep backing up until he makes a mistake. I know that's not a super reliable plan, but I honestly don't have a better one. Yeah, I guess we'll just try doing that. I'm on it. Fine. Back up, reload. Good to go. And Freddy. Freddy can go where Jory is, I suppose. Jory can dash. Okay. Here I come. And what about the bus? Where's bus? Let's just keep him where he Here is, I shall come. we? On this turn, at least. Hunker down. And Christian. I don't know if this is safe or not. We can't dash into the next guard tower just yet. Alright. Let's just be careful. I don't want the turret to kill him. Overwatch. I'm also hoping to do a little bit of damage with Overwatch, if at all possible. Just any damage at all. Anything. I don't care what it's going to be. We just need anything. Because if we just let him take shots at us, he will kill someone eventually with his crazy aim. That aim is really over the top, to be honest. I can deal with so much health, but 110 aim is just insane. He's just spamming Overwatch. Well, Spacebar doesn't care about your overwatch, sorry. This is still in range. Alright. We'll need one more turn, I suppose. I want to get line of sight with Christian, but from a position where the turret will not see Christian. So let's say... Hmm. Where Freddy is, perhaps? Is that not in the line of sight of the turret? Perhaps. I guess we can find can out. I'm just nervous because Christian only has 7 health. Okay, we'll give it a shot. I do have a smoke grenade, but that's just one. It won't achieve a whole lot. Okay, hunker down. And we'll use Overwatch a few times. Not on anyone who's in range of the guy. And not on anyone who's wounded. In position. And most people are wounded. Here he comes. Please hit. There. Weak hit. I mean, I know it's not a lot of damage, but it's something. Put some damage here. Oh yeah. Christian is getting shot at. Alright, we cannot stay here. We need to move. That is unfortunate. I was really hoping this would be fine, but it's not. Oh well, doesn't matter, we'll move him where Buzz was just a moment ago. That seems to be fine. Wait, that's Lotharion, wrong person, damn it. Whoops. My bad. 
we'll just move elsewhere. Right here. I'm pretty sure that's also fine. Got it. it should be. It sucks not knowing where the turret will be able to shoot us. Now what about the general? I'm hoping Freddy will hit a reaction shot at some point and shred him. That's what we need to happen. We need some kind of shred to happen. And Freddy is basically the only person who can shred the general. So it's up to him. No pressure, Freddy. But we can't kill the general without you. 20%. Yeah, take that shot. We'll take any shots that we can safely. Even if they end up doing just one damage. I don't care if it's one damage. So hunker down still. Maybe he will move a little bit closer. I want him to move a bit closer. If he moves close enough, we could maybe freeze him with a grenade and then flank him. It's a shame we can't destroy his cover. That's the crappy part. And here's the turret. Okay, the turret cannot shoot Christian because it would have. So now we can maybe take a shot with Christian. We can actually mark him, but that's fairly useless while he has cover and I just cannot destroy the cover. That sucks. I can break his overwatch. We can just shoot him in the face with the shotgun. You know what I think we should do? Oh wait, what? Freddy can't actually see him, really? I was going to use Hail of Bullets with Freddy to shred him and then use the shotgun. But okay, never mind. I'm strongly considering just shooting him like this. Yes, it is super dangerous. Yes, I'm risking losing a person, but if we don't do something, we are just not going to kill him. I can freeze him after doing that with Jory. He just needs to... No, he doesn't even need to mob. So I think we should do it. The only annoying part is that turret, because if I want to hit him with a melee with two people, like let's say Remy and Spacebar, then the turret will shoot someone. Or if I want to take... We could stand over here. And Remy can melee from the left. Then they will both have cover. Okay, I like that. Let's do it. We need to break Overwatch first before Freddy moves. So we'll take this shot first. Hopefully not miss. I like how it's only 72% from almost point-blank range. There, we got a crit. I was going to say that if you miss this one, then you're fired. Now, we need to shred him. That's Freddy's job. I'm still slightly paranoid, so I will use full cover. And we'll use Halo Bullets, because we cannot afford to miss this one. This is for the shred. There. Hold on, we might even be able to kill him right now. Okay, let's not get too excited. I already got a little bit too excited because I should have used rapid targeting before Spacebar took her shot. But it's okay, she got a crit. Alright, so Remy, he can melee. Can you get the killing blow? No, he can't, but this will do good damage. Maybe we should freeze him first. Let's freeze him first, not that it really matters, but we'll freeze him. He's basically dead. And is this the last enemy in the mission, other than the turret, but we won't have to kill the turret? I think we are done once he dies. Exciting. James, killing blow for you. 92%, go. One damage. Alright, he will die on the next turn. Or maybe Christian can get a killing blow. That would be appropriate. This mission would have been so much harder without Christian and his insane aim. But to be fair, that's exactly why I brought him here. Because he is the highest aim sniper. We are actually done. Holy crap. 51 out of 52 enemies killed. Six soldiers wounded. You know, 
Once we discovered that pod with the general, I was actually really worried that we might be able to do this without death. Because that guy was just insane. And he had so many other dudes with him. I'm glad we did it. So we liberated East Africa. And it was already up to like 10 Advent Street. So I'm glad we did it. I really needed this mission to succeed. This is just the second region we liberated. And if we failed this, Advent Strength would have gone up even more. Now we can focus this region 100% on supplies. And we got everyone promoted. That was so worth it. Gunnery Sergeant for Bass. I guess that's going to be Salvo. Well, or Tactical Sense. You know, this is such a tough choice. Because Salvo is nice. But... I feel like we need Tactical Sense with all these enemies with insane aim. Especially since Buzz is an officer. We can't afford to let him die. I'm strongly leaning towards Tactical Sense. Let's check the others. Lotharion. Oh yes, Scanning Protocol, Killzone and Threat Assessment. I have no idea which one I want. Probably Scanning Protocol. I do think that's way more valuable in Long War 2 than in Vanilla. Because scouting is so much more important in Long War 2. Don't get me wrong, Killzone is really nice. But let's grab Scanning Protocol. There, done. Next we got Remy. Tradecraft, Tactical Sense. Yeah, I think we'll pick up Tactical Sense. It's just too good. It's basically one of the best defensive perks. And again, with all these extremely high aim enemies, I feel like we need it on many, many classes. So, Tactical Sense. Next, we got Freddy. Saturation Fire, Rapid Fire, Traverse Fire. Oh, come on, really? That's going to be the choice? Holy crap. That's the worst choice ever, because I like all three. Well, not much point picking up Rapid Fire when we got Chain Shot and Cyclic Fire, but Saturation Fire is really good. Especially if you watched one of my previous campaigns before Long War 2, then you know what I'm talking about exactly. But Traverse Fire is also so good. I'll probably pick up Traverse Fire, but I'll have to think about it. Next we got Christian. So, independent tracking, low profile and center mass. With his insane aim, I think we should pick up center mass. Yep, center mass. That seems like a no-brainer. 97 aim now. He will get over 100 base aim by the time he hits Master Sergeant. Next, James. Rapid fire, tactical sense, rapid reaction. Oh, come on. Yeah, that choice really sucks. Again, Tactical Sense, but I also like Rapid Fire. I think I'll go for Tactical Sense in the end, but I'm going to think about it. Alright, we got plus 16 dodge PCS. Yeah, picking that up was definitely worth it. That will be useful. We got 157 supplies, 33 Alarium, 26 Alloys. I really needed the supplies. We got Elite Laser Sight, Smart Macrophages PCS. Okay, that's actually nice. Advanced laser sight, advent data pad, and corpses. Okay, sounds good. And that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.